Do you remember I bought this cape at a costume sale a little while? Hey, hey Tilly. Thanks. I bought this cape at a costume sale a little while back and I absolutely loved it. Um, well, I do love it, but I didn't love, love the collar. So I decided to trim it up to embellish it and make it look a little more Victorian-ish. And I thought I would show you how I did that. My name is Anna and I'm a costume historical interpreter at a Victorian museum. And um... So of course I asked Matron what she thought and she recommended using grey grain ribbon to make some knife pleats to embellish the collar. Uh, grey grain ribbon is of course something that would be used in her time and knife pleats as well, often used to embellish Victorian clothing. So she showed me how to make the pleats, uh, how to pin them. Here she is and she has uh, sewn along one side of the ribbon to make the pleats. Uh, she's pleated the entire length of ribbon I gave her, which wasn't enough. She was a bit cross about that. She also suggested some narrow velvet ribbon along the top of the ribbon pleats to cover where the uh, stitching is. And I thought, yes, she's right. That does look very pretty. So here's the uh, ribbon pinned to the collar. The knife pleated ribbon already sewn onto the collar and the velvet ribbon partly sewn on and you can see there the rest is pinned. And here's the finished collar. I decided to wear it test drive to a little trip to the theatre where they had cans of wine. Not sure Matron would approve of that. Um, not the uh, most delicious wine you've ever tasted. I was very happy with the way this turned out. Uh, there's nowhere pretty as a background in a modern theatre so uh, I uh, decided to make dinner after the show a cinematic event. Okay, that's enough of that. So that is the story of how I embellished my cape. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Love you.